Hello there everyone, I am Devosh and in this video I would like to talk about a Skyrim shadow related issue that I like to call Shadow Pop-Up. I will showcase how this issue looks like in the game and how to fix it. So, let's start off by saying that Shadow Pop-Up is affected by your current Shadow Biascale setting. If you have your Shadow Biascale set low, you will most likely encounter this bug on various angled surfaces, most likely on city walls or on snow. The bug will most likely appear when the sun is straight upwards, like this. And it will look like this. You can see on the wall on my right this is shadow pop-up. As you move around you can see visible lines of shadows are being drawn. Like this. The only way to fix this well, the best way to fix this is to increase your shadow bias scale to quite a large number. Though, there is a one important notice when increasing your Shadow Bias Scale. If you set your Shadow Bias Scale high, it will affect every shadow in the game in a way that it will change its angles. If you set your Shadow Bias Scale very high, it will even more change its angles. It will even more change the angles of shadows. I really hope I'm saying this correctly. Yes, if you set your shadow bias scale very high, it, it may even change the angles so much it will start detaching shadows from objects or characters which isn't a very pleasant effect, to be honest. The other way to avoid this issue, at least at close range of the player, the issue still will be present, but it will be drawn at higher distances, is to increase your shadow draft distance to quite a large number, probably six or eight thousand with which will decrease your overall shadow quality so i will now exit the game increase my shadow bias scale and showcase you how this issue looks like with increased shadow bias scale be right back so i've increased the shadow bias scale quite significantly uh, one thing to i would like to point out is that in my previous presentation, where I showcased you the bug, I was using Vanilla Ultra Shadows Bias Scale, which is set at 0 0.15. I've currently increased my Shadow Bias Scale, as I said, uh, I've increased it to 1 1.0. And let's see how this book looks like with increased Shadow Bia scale. As I walk around... As you can see, there is no longer Shadow Pop-Up visible. It has been fixed, for the most part. When talking about the drawbacks of setting a high Shadow Bia scale, the character shadows and their angles, their change in angles isn't all that noticeable when the shadow is straight upwards. Though it is noticeable when in-game time is set at early morning or late uh, evening. So, I will continue this video and showcase you uh, various issues when running a very high Shadow Bia scale. 
for now I can tell that uh, increasing the shadow BS scale has fixed shadow pop-up as planned. So let me load a another save where I'm standing uh, during in-game morning, early morning, and see you then. So I've loaded my previous save. Uh, it is about seven o'clock in the morning in-game. And I would like to showcase you how actually did that shadows look like. I'm currently running my shadow BR scale very high. I've set it to 1.0. So this is how detached shadows look like. As you can see, shadows are being detached from my character at the moment. Very slightly, but they are being detached. They are being detached not only for my character, but also for Cairo, as you can see. This is a drawback of increasing your shadow BIA scale and thus fixing the shadow pop-up issue. Setting your shadow BIA scale to 1.0 is the in my opinion, the optimal value of fixing the shadow pop-up and avoiding detached shadows at as much as possible. Now, I will showcase you how detached shadows look like with vanilla game settings and increased bias scale settings. Shadows at vanilla shadow bias scale. Shadows at increased shadow bias scale. Shadow pop up at increased shadow bias scale. Shadow pop-up at vanilla shadow bia scale. So, this should be it for this issue. Please remember that in my tweaks I have given you a good value for shadow bia scale for Fixing this issue and avoiding detached shadows. I've kept my values for my tweaks from uh, as far as I remember 0 0.35 to 0 0.25. Those tweaks should be good for giving you the best shadow quality possible and avoiding any issues. So I hope this video was helpful to you. It was very hard to record for me because uh, this issue is very hard to describe and my English isn't all that great. So, yes. Thank you all for watching and bye!